We're back. Hey, hi, hi. Hey to the folks. How are you? Hey. Hey. What's We're back. Spice, Spice Girls. Girls. Spice Girls. Who's your favorite Spice Girl? Um. Is that a trick question? I, it is baby, but. Really? But um, now that Mel is a colleague of mine. Yeah. And a close personal friend. Close personal friend. Yeah. Bestie. I, t- I told you about the goats, right? She yeah, goats. fucking hilarious. Goats, <laughs> goats, yeah. fainting goats that are hilarious. She has fainting goats. She said, "I have those fainting goats from the internet." And I said, "Oh, is from it the internet?" Like, I guess she saw them. Um, on, I said, "Are they funny? Do they really faint?" I said, "She goes, it's fucking hilarious." <laughs> I mean, says, I'll never forget. I love her accent. She says every day she kicks open her her kitchen windows and scares the goats and says, "Good morning." And they faint. <laughs> no, that's not true. That's that can't be said. true. Does she have video? I'm, that's her daily. Am I still yeah. scary? If the, <laughs> you know, oh my God, I didn't even put that together. <laughs> Wait, what is the real story behind Scary Spice? I mean, what's the deal? It's so crazy. Well, I'm sure it's that not leopard print. That's not scary. Well, if I know my Spice Girl, like storylines, yeah, I think that these nicknames were. Picked out for them by some kind of music reporter who didn't know their names. Okay. Because they were like an origin story? They were originally called Spice. Okay. And then people kept saying the the girls from Spice, the Spice Girls. Oh. And then I think some reporter was like, oh, there's the posh one and then the ginger one. He didn't know their names. Okay. And then they just ran with it. But that's like, I think that is like reinforcing my, the point I'm, I I think that's scary. What's so scary about Mel B? I would say Gorgeous spice, lovely spice, beautiful spice. I had a good time working with her and she never hit me once. No, could you? Yeah. <laughs> Why is she so she scary? I have me. a black eye. She I'm never like, stabbed oh. me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, the Spice Girls. Listen, can we talk about the elephant in the room? Posh. Oh, this one? We're back in Los Angeles. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I walked into my house the night we got back uh-huh. and I stood in my kitchen and spun. Spun oh, like my yeah. arms out, like Maria. Yeah. I French kissed my furniture. I went, and then I did tongue. Yeah. It was great. It's sickening to be home. Hollywood right there. The sign. The sign. It's it's lovely. Unfortunately, we I forgot that this part of the year, LA is really disgusting. It's going to look like this for four this more months. This part of the year? But look at this. I mean. The sky. Oh, but I like the overcast. It's a welcome change. Mm-hmm. You know. We have to leave in two and a half weeks. How's that? Mary. Mary. <laughs> We're at the show in LA and everybody's circling up and doing like the... 15 for a moment like do it like oh they're like, like goodbye to like right. goodbye to you yeah. uh, vitamin c graduation like yeah. can you believe the tour's over the end I'm of like, an era oh yeah so what is are everybody those here on craft 50 shows left yeah if my, the way i see it we gotta don't even unpack don't say goodbye don't, don't say, say goodbye to me unless you're never gonna see me again girl thank you it's called see you later mm-hmm. see you later tinta yeah youtube theater was nice i like until it. we got up there Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought it was extremely hot on that stage. It was hot, but I like I like that. Th- I don't know if I like. Um, I'm on, I don't know if I'm undecided about historic theater, like you know, usually no a- no AC or like new theater. Kind of looks like a convention center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No character, but maybe AC. I don't know. The floor was concrete. Yeah, Ug- uggy. ugly, yeah. ugly. So, you know, but I don't know. It was YouTube good. theater. I thought, oh my God, are we booked here because we're YouTube celebrities? And they said, no, that YouTube no. just sponsored it and owns the name or whatever. I said, okay. Like the um, like the Charles Schwab Pavilion. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, I met a bunch of people from YouTube and I was like, I'm no. a YouTuber. I was like, I have my million play button. And they were like, what is so? your million play button? When you have a million subscribers, oh, you get okay, a play okay, button. Okay. Is there like an actual club? Like what is the most, um, uh, like how many, well, who's the most famous person on YouTube, by the way? First as far as numbers, yeah, probably Mr. Beast. What? How many? How many has he got? Do you know who Mr. Beast is? Okay, you and I gave him an award once at the Streaming Awards. <laughs> oh, Mr. Beast, of course, Kevin, right? Kevin, Kevin Beast. Kevin Beastie. Yeah, Bob. I mean the Beastie Boys. Mm-hmm. Oh, by the way, we got to talk about that club we went to the other night. <laughs> All right. You know what? I'm going to say this as a uh, wait. Okay, Mr. Beast, 106 million subscribers. Wow. But That's he has a channel crazy. where he's like, he's like, um, today I'm giving away 10 Lamborghinis. You know what I mean? He, yeah. That like Dubrovnik guy. He does the same thing. Yeah. Like, what so, is that? You go from like, I, I used to pick my nose online and then you're giving away Lamborghinis. That's but so now like the kids, the youths, their aspirations, like on career day, they're like, I want to give away Lamborghinis on YouTube. Automotive th- philanthropy. There's something to strive for. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure he's really, I'm sure he's nice and he, uh, no, no, yeah. I'm sure he's funny. I think he's pumped. Is I'm he, just gonna say it. I think he's G-A-Y? pumped. No, I don't think he's gay. No, no, 
You know, nobody with that many Lamborghinis with that much gay. money sucking cock, though? Like, no. You're, like, going into space. You're going to cry or no, stuff. No, you're yeah. sucking cocks. We, we, no, what? you're sucking cocks. If you're rich enough to just be a little gay, everybody wants to be a little gay. So if you're so rich, yeah, they're sucking cocks. Oh, he just looks like Bob Regular. He just looks like a Bob Regular. Oh my <laughs> I think he's pumped. He's um, not pumped. He's Mama, not pumped. he's pumped. Mama, he's he went pumped to brunch and he up. got pumped. <laughs> so we also got to talk about, mm. you and I had a rap party. They, they, they... <laughs> All right. They organized that the tour organized a party at a place called Dave's Break Room. Something like that. I, what was it? I I contacted the producer of the show weeks before. I said, hey, you know what? You should organize a after party if you haven't done that already. It was like, okay, get great. We'll work on it. Where? Maybe West Hollywood. Blah, blah, blah. Cut to a 45-minute Uber ride okay, to Koreatown. That was fine with me because I live over here and so do you. We have to come this way anyway. Okay. Oh, that's true. We were in Inglewood. Yes. That's true. Okay. So... The issue 145 was 145 minutes in the Uber. I'm all for theater. I okay. went to Terror Vault. Okay, like I know theater. Yeah, that was not... standing in the in the dumpster alley mm -hmm. near the smell of dead cats. Mm -hmm. Waiting with what? Waiting with straight people. Oh yeah. Like when I see a bunch of cool straight people, I'm like, we need to get the fuck out of here. Like, like yeah, I don't know. Like, like uh, when I see like an influencer girl. That's and her, true. And you know what? Did you notice the couplings? I'm like no. the hottest bitches with the ugliest men. That is LA. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's I mean, like it's this it. hot, hot, hot bitch. And then this guy who was wearing like, looks like Ronnie Spector. He was wearing like, <laughs> he had yeah. on like a Ronnie Spector yeah. wig and a drug rug. And I was <laughs> yeah. like, what are we doing? Yeah. Well, you know, it's LA. So then we walked, LA. Through, we walked through this back area. It looked like a kitchen, industrial kitchen. Everybody's waiting on a loading dock. Yes. I get in there. I have a painting. I'm carrying a large painting <laughs> and I, and I'm like, What's up? With, I'm going to the after party. Where's the after party? I'm not waiting on a loading dock. I go right in. And then she tries to say, "Do you want something from the the trap door or whatever?" Um, there's like a, you know, this, you there's a vending that? machine. A vending machine that's a really a door. And she's like, "Do you want anything from the vending machine?" And I was like, "Um, yeah." And then it was a joke. Well, that was her bit. Like, you want anything with the vending machine? And then open. Great bit. Although I'm Love not gonna lie, that. that was exciting. Well, I didn't get it. When we oh, finally, oh, the door when, when the door was revealed and I would have never known it was there, that was yeah. exciting. And you know what yeah. else I loved about it? Mm. And I'm going to say this. I saw you walk in. I saw your face and you left immediately. And I understand. Mm -hmm. But what I did enjoy about the night, mm -hmm. we weren't at a gay bar. And so nobody wanted a picture with me. And so in that sense, it was nice. If I don't want to, if I want people not to take pictures of me, I'll go to my own bathroom. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, but I, I'm saying like, oh. it was like not a full bar. It wasn't yeah, that many people there. I know. And it was a bunch of private karaoke rooms. I went into the karaoke room of a stranger. The, the what karaoke room? room? Oh, karaoke. <laughs> a stranger's <laughs> karaoke room. I thought it was public. And after now, I was like, oh, that was their well, little private just, party. You just I blended right in. in. This straight people singing. High school musical. Fucking high school mu girl singing high school musical. Damn. I walk in and the girl singing looks at me and she recognized me and then she takes a picture with me. And then I realized this is a, this is not public. This is private. Oh, okay. So I left. I, but there was like some kind of like um, rock band situation going on in there, and I well, was just like, they were singing Beastie Boys. You want to fight? Oh, you're right. Yeah, I wasn't into that. But also, I was like, I thought it was gonna be like our little private little setup, and you know, like, but yeah, I had a blast. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, good, good. I got, I sang with Tracy. We sang a lot, lot of music, a lot of great music sung that night. I did "Work It" by Missy Elliott. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wait, is that "Sex Me So Good"? I say blah blah blah. Yes. Yeah. But it's kind of a flex when you're doing a rap song and you don't have to look at the screen. Oh yeah. And everyone's like, "Wow, you're cool." And you do all that good dancing too. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm there and I'm dancing and I'm like, mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, more slurs in the song that I remember, so I also did some silent sections. I was gonna say, did you omit any words? No, I, I jumped. I will say I did yeah. some like ba 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 ba. <laughs> yeah it's tough yes it's tough. you don't want to get canceled by flop tina bestie <laughs> no yeah. so our dancers just laughed at me while i like skipped sections they're like okay, okay good for you yeah. um but you know i'm always fascinated by dancer type personalities because any dancers like backup dancers or professional dancers really hot people like that with great physiques mm -hmm. it's always about a half a half tablespoon of alcohol they get and they climb the walls. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I suppose, yeah. These people turn up so fiercely, they do, so quickly. They do get, yeah, they uh, they bloom and blossom in the nightclub. They do crazy yes. shit. They do crazy they do. shit. They yeah. do. Hot people in general, like when it's... what I know, what is that like? Well, when the world you know, is your oyster. When the world, when it's not about them, mm -hmm. and this isn't to our dancers, this is to all hot people. When it's not about them, there's a shift, there's a seismic shift. 
where they're like, oh my What's God, wrong? this isn't about me. Oh yeah, like what's, you know what I mean? Yes, 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 yes. It's disorienting for them. Yes. How could this possibly be? It's a be? seismic gravitational pivot. And they're like, oh, they're, they're like um, Marty McFly, like hand disappearing. And they're like, oh my God. It's usually a call to action though, because that's when they ratchet up the drama a little, a little more to get back in the spotlight. Don't you think? Yes, I do. <laughs> what happened? Yes, I do. What happened? What happened? I don't know. We went to see a uh, terror vault, which I, that was thrilling. I was so tired and I was jolted right back to life that night. Girl, screaming, screaming. If you're in Haunted San Francisco, House. I mean, I'm sure this comes out. Oh, it's after long Halloween. after Halloween. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it isn't. If you're in San Francisco, go see Peaches Christ Terror Vault production. Mm. It's basically a haunted attraction. That's a 45 minute experience yeah. with a narrative. Uh, tableaus. There's all different tableaus that you step into and um, people act in right inches from your face. We screamed a lot. Screamed a lot. Sometimes they're touching you. They shocked me. I had the necklace on, which which meant uh, please touch me. And then they strapped me to a thing to p- put a lot of um, like blush on me and then um, shocked me with the E-stim thing. Uh-huh. It was crazy. Scary. Yeah. And they got like cottage cheese all over my blouse. Well... And this is some, this is my trauma, mm. right? My trauma. Trauma. I don't like it. Horror movies, something scary happens and people laugh. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. And I understand that people's response to fear is sometimes laughter, but mine isn't. Mine is to be. Yeah. I watch a horror movie like this. Yeah. If we're having a communal experience, you need to go with the appropriate response. Which is more. Huh. Right. Yeah. Not like, oh, you bitch, you fucking bitch, you serve. Like, like. Or, no. at a, or at a haunted house. Yeah. If we're spooked and scared, we don't need to like, we don't need to like talk back to the haunt people. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we certainly don't need to sass the actors in front of their face. Yeah. yeah. So it was a little, it was a little, um, yeah, it sucks. It sucks. Not to my taste. Yeah. Also, I have, um, I'm like such a goody two shoes from school. Like, I don't like people who, um, misbehave in particular ways like <laughs> yeah. do you know what i mean Me like neither. talk when the teacher's talking or whatever like it's just rude i don't like rudeness yes or like saying jokes to the movie theater screen what's stuff the like that, that? It's like, what's girl, the point of that don't do all that no shut up shut up and be scared but they um, should have movie theater experiences where it's like oh this is a silent showing where like nobody's gonna talk but that should be all of them. But everybody, that's, right? that is every, literally every movie. But in LA, I wanted to see Halloween Ends last mm. night, and I wanted to go down to Hollywood Boulevard to the T- TLC, no. TCL, not TLC. The TLC theater, yeah. And I was like, I'm not going to go because I'm going to be mad when people yes. start talking to the screen or like laughing. Yeah. When I saw Smile, a bunch of uh, high schoolers were just having like their little varsity meeting in the back. Varsity Blues back We were there. there. Uh, no, no, this is when I went um, the first time. So the night before, yes, you saw Smile two nights in a row. I did. It was like in a nearly empty theater, except a bunch of ra- like rabid Randy high schoolers. And I was like, "Y'all need to do, do this somewhere else. Go rent a hall, the Elks Lodge." But that's what I mean. There should be a showing that's like this is the fun showing for people who want to chat. It's just a screensaver, and then for people who want to be scared because it takes me out of it. I get no scared, shit. and then someone laughs, and it breaks my momentum. I know it's you horrible. Know? How am I supposed to keep jerking off when people are laughing in the back row? Yeah, because I'll, I'll go along with it if I pay my money to be there. Yeah. I will go along with it. I don't need to wait. Go along with what? The the vibe? Anything? <laughs> well, like I'll go along with. If you're trying to scare me, I will sure. meet you. Yeah. I'll be scared. Uh-huh. If you're trying to make me laugh, I'll laugh. You know, like I'll go for it. Yeah. And so anything that's sort of like pulling focus from up there, mm. I don't like that. Not good. Not good. You ever shit your pants in a movie theater? Sorry, would you ever shit your pants in a movie theater? No. For ten dollars. No. Okay. I thought too long about that. <laughs> I was like, that was a pregnant boss. <laughs> I'm, um, <laughs> oh, I guess we'll take a break. We'll take uh, a break. Yes, break. Today's episode of The Bald and the Beautiful is sponsored by the app that makes online shopping better, Karma. What is Karma? Basically, it lets you find the best possible price every single time you buy something. You can use the app on your phone or download Karma to your laptop and use it right in your browser. Karma scans the entire web for coupons so you don't have to. You can even create a wish list of items you want to purchase and Karma will notify you when there's a great deal. You'll never miss out because Karma notifies you when an item is back in stock or there's a big price drop. Karma is like a deal-finding supercomputer robot. It's kind of like Skynet, but without the whole enslaving humanity thing. With the best coupon scanner out there, real-time stock updates, price drop alerts, and tons of other hacks, we even let you organize the stuff you love into wish lists so you can click to buy them all at once and get cashback bonuses on some of the best brands. Karma has saved shoppers millions of dollars, and it works with over 100,000 stores worldwide. 
It's one of the best shopping extensions I've ever used and has saved me a ton of money. Karma wants to create a better, more affordable shopping experience for everyone. To download Karma, check out the link in the description. And now we're going to watch a riveting commercial by Karma, and, and I, we just can't wait for it. We just can't wait. Wow. We're reacting live. Live reactions. Let's go. Come on, Karma. It will blow your wow. mind. She looks so... Oh, oh, oh yes. It, is Very this, relatable. Very relatable. Is this on television? I think this is on... Yeah. Is this legal? I don't think so. I think this company's in for it. They're going to get arrested. Is this legal? I think they're police officers. We should ask them. This feels rich. Yeah, he's hot, too. Why does every female detective have to have a bad wig on? I don't know. Everyone. I like his his dad bod. Uh -huh. No, no, he's just got a regular good bod. Good bod. No, he's got a little belly on him. Does he? Over my dad body. Over my dad body. Check this out. What? You know, oh, oh, another dead person. These things happen in threes. They should really watch out. Oh my God, deals are just making people's heads go oh, bananas. Oh, karma's blowing people's minds. Mm. Damn, I would have sex with him. With him? Oh yeah, of course. Would you wear her wig though? I wear that. That's a tough wig. Heel too. Yeah, it's a tough wig. Why doesn't she get new shoes? Why doesn't what she get a new wig? What she's on TV. She's in a she's in a million dollar commercial. She deserves better. Karma bringing people together. Yeah, and tearing them apart. Okay, if all these people have used this app and then died, I don't want anybody. Is she gonna die? I think she's gonna die. Get he ready told for the surprise. Karma. Oh no, here we go. She's gonna dun, die. Dun, dun, no. Dun, dun. She will die because of a shopping app. You're lying. Silly. It's only shopping. What the f? Oh wow, that was really something. Is she going to die because of a shopping app? Okay. Oh my god, when an, a weird uh, turtlenecked bald man comes out of my drapes, that's what you know. It's really getting juicy. Go watch the full version of the video on Karma's YouTube channel and download Karma. Congratulations to Karma on a very ambitious commercial. I just downloaded the app. Yeah. That's all you need to do is show me exploding heads and I'm in. Mm -hmm. To download Karma, check out the link in the description. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. I'll tell you this, you guys, when I have a specific problem, like, oh my gosh, I don't even want to get into it. But a few weeks ago, probably like six weeks ago, I had a career problem, a bump in the road that really sent me spiraling. It gave me like an identity crisis. It gave me nightmares. It gave me cycling, circling anxiety. Like a con I almost had like an ulcer all day from just like the panic of something. Um, and it's private and I don't want to say what it is, but I'll tell you that it was really one of the hardest things I've ever gone through. And it can be really tough to train your brain to stay in problem solving mode when you're faced with a challenge because you can get so carried away. And when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can help you become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. In my personal experience, being able to talk to people, being able to have somebody in my life um, or a service that I can just like vent and like get things out of my brain onto someone else. It just gives me bandwidth and space to stretch my arms and go, what's the real problem here? And is it real at all? And is it just me? And even if it is a problem, like let's work through it. And I like feeling less stressed. I mean, I just, I like feeling more confident when it's like whatever happens, I can handle it. One of the best things about therapy for me too is I like that, you know, to be personal for a second, my partner is running a business at motel in Palm Springs. And I know that in the middle of his work day, he doesn't need for me to like, you know, knee jerk reaction, dump some kind of freak out I'm having on him. So it's actually like a little better for our relationship for me to be able to kind of like, you know, unload things somewhere else and then have like a mature conversation with him later about my stress. If you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists anytime. When you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit betterhelp.com slash bald today to get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp.com slash bald. Wow. You know what I love? Squarespace. Always have, always will. You know what I love about Squarespace? Everything. Let's talk about it. Websites, online stores, marketing tools, analytics, they've got everything. They have an all-in-one platform to help me succeed online. I have 12 websites, all with Squarespace. I won't tell you what they are. That's my business. E-commerce. What's better than commerce? E-commerce. Electronic Squarespace. 
They've got secure payments, a wonderful checkout process, inventory management, lovely templates, whatever you sell, they've got you covered, honey. Video blocks, not your grandmother's video blocks. No, these are different. Connected social media accounts. Hmm, sounds simple, but Squarespace makes it complicatedly simple. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ball to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash ball to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Okay, we're back, and I'm hungover. Okay, we're back with uh, my, Matthew Camp's ding right here. I got hungover to drink weed. I don't think that's possible. I ate let's edibles. Okay. I ate edibles. Uh huh. And let's say I pushed it. Well, what does pushing it mean? Um, I think like I took some and then fell asleep maybe before it, it the beat dropped and then I think I woke up a little tired from it. Oh, is that that happens on edibles? Really? It happened to me. You take a little too much. And Reductus, then get a tired. It happened to me. Too I much edibles it. and I woke up. But <laughs> it wasn't cranky. it wasn't too much edibles in that like it was psychoactively unappealing. Uh huh. So I didn't think I'd be hungover, but I am hungover a little bit. What was the edible experience like? Well, I'm okay. My friends at Sonder mm -hmm. who make marijuana, mm -hmm. they make these marijuana pop rocks, these edible pop rocks that I quite mm -hmm. enjoy. Mm -hmm. And they sent me a bunch of flavors that haven't come out yet. <gasps> Exclusive. So I've been trying all these new flavors, doing my due diligence. Of course. On Your research. Spokeswoman. Yes. Yeah. And I just got a little fierce, got a little fierce, spunky and fresh. Um, Cause I you watched- You didn't try to put him up your butt, did you? No, 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 no. I watched Halloween Ends while I signed book. I signed, sat here and fucking signed books for hours yeah. watching Halloween Ends. And um, it's great. Was it? I thought it was fine, but I don't know. Again, I'll go with what's being presented. Uh, yes, I appreciate that. Because that the movie that came before, Mama, that was a turd in the shape of a movie. It's better than Halloween Kills for sure. Okay, thank God. I wouldn't. I wouldn't Does say it's as good him? as the first one. Spoil it for me and everybody. Does she kill him? This is like a big spoiler. Do you want to know? She is him. He's her. You, <laughs> He's her. It's Jamie Lee Curtis with Einhorn, the mask. Einhorn, yeah. Einhorn and Finkel. No. Um. Uh. What is it? Spoil it. I'm not do you really want to know? Yes. I don't. I don't care that much. Do you really want to know? My God. Now I don't want to know. Let's move on. <laughs> no. What is it? What is it? Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. It ends with. The, the, she the, dies the killing. Too. Oh, what she do? Fry his face. He, in the fry he tries to kill her in a kitchen, and she s stabs one of his hands uh -huh. to the wall. I saw that in the trailer. The butcher yeah. stabs the other hand down to it, and then knocks Crucifixion. the fridge down on top of his leg so he can't move. And then she slits his throat, slits both his wrists, and bleeds him out and watches because she's like, "You're not coming back, bitch." Now that's interesting to me. And then the granddaughter is like, "No, bitch, we're finishing this." The whole town goes to the auto. Um, Wreckery, the whole town, the sheriff, they okay. show victims in the last few movies okay. who survived. Okay. And Lori pushes his body into a chipper and you see him completely. <laughs> so like he's not coming back. And they take, they have plastic bags. They cut, they cut all the juice and they, oh my yeah, God. It's, that's what I'm saying. It was a satisfying ending that after 43 years, you see Lori Strode pour his body into a wood chipper. He is done. She's like, he not coming back from this one, folks. Oh, but that's really intense. Yeah. That's almost kind of funny. Yeah. And that was satisfying. Um, and it opens with four years after the last movie. So it's like mm. Lori being like, she's kind of moving past her trauma. She's be being a real person. Mm. And then it's like the whole city blaming her for Michael existing. Blame like there's a scene where she's leaving the grocery store and some woman's <sighs> like, my sister can't speak. Her throat was slit by Michael Myers. And this is your fault, bitch. So like the city making her feel bad about it. Well, it yeah. was fine. It was fine. I'm going to say that you should see it. And I'll watch the last part. No, the, the the main focus of it is like a new character. And I think that's what people are going to find it? hard to who deal with. Somebody who... Sally Struthers. Well, like the, the the theme of it is that like evil is like an infection that spreads in this town. And so oh it follows somebody who's sort of like the next Michael Myers in a way. Like a... Oh, micro, Michael in training. Micro Myers. Micro Myers. It's like a little micro Myers. He's like killing people. He's like, sorry, I'm a trainee. Yeah. <laughs> Something bad happens to him on Halloween. No Judy Greer. Bummer. I know. World famous Judy Greer. Love her. But, you um, know, I can appreciate that somebody in a horror movie dies and stays dead. Well, you know, because yeah. you never know. I love that. They I'm sorry were like, if I ruined it for you. I no, feel bad. I, that, I, I, now you've saved me the burden of having to go see it because I'm not. I don't want to go see it. But I just it's love on Peacock. Peacock? It's on Peacock? I called David and said, can I have your Peacock login? I'll fuck you. 
And I realized it was already on this TV logged in. So I was like, never mind. It's a really nice movie. I saw it on Peacock. Um, we got to see the Terrifier part two. I got to see the, ter- but I got to see one. No, you don't. You see that later. You have to tune into Black Diarrhea. Okay. <laughs> um, I'll tell you something. I'm not going to spoil it because it was uh, quite shocking. But there's a character um, shows up on the scene, very unannounced, very unbelievable. And she sprays out some black diarrhea on the floor of a laundromat. And I, I, I had to turn my hat sideways and look to my left and right and say, wow, gee whiz, I've never seen that before. It was really great. Black diarrhea spraying. On the floor. She sprayed black diarrhea on the floor of the laundromat. Have I you heard. ever seen that? No. Right. Thank you. <laughs> never seen it before. No, I have not seen that. Never I've been on my intervention before. kick. Why does the why does diarrhea why does excrement such a taboo? In these movies, we see it's slits. gross. Oh, right, but it you smells don't think it's bad. gross when people are flayed alive. I think that we're wired to have like a a, a grossed out reaction when we see de- defis, defcrement, defis, uh, uh, excrement or defecation, defecation, defecation. Defecation. Mm-hmm. I think we're wired to be grossed out by that. And that makes sense. Because that way a caveman's not like, what's this? Right, right, right. I'm eating poop now. Well, they need to talk to some people in Germany, but yeah. Mama and Los Angeles. Everybody, and every Los 10 Angeles. is into scat. Every, if you're every hot, 10 is into scat. If you're hot, you're being yeah. opened up and you're eating piss. You're digitally extracting large nugs of defecation and you're, you're eating, eating them. <laughs> And you're using a fun little word like scat to describe it. No. Yes. Yes. Mm. I saw a guy on Grinder recently. It was like, um, I'm into like light BDSM, but the profile picture was a mummification of leather, like suspended from the ceiling. And oh. I'm like, okay, <laughs> what is light? This is light yeah. BDSM. What do they do? What's the further version of the chop yeah. the head off? Chop what the happens? head off and fuck the stump. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was just stump. like, whoa. Yeah. I'm into, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, vanilla, what is the most vanilla thing you can imagine? Little whispers, little kisses, little kitten kissing. kisses. I think the, the funny thing is how many guys Hugs aren't into kisses? kissing, which is like the most normal. But like know. you can shit in my mouth, but we are not kissing. We are not kissing. I draw the line at intimacy. You fucking freak. Yeah, yeah. but you got a hard turd for my mouth. That's so crazy. Yeah, I guess it's to each their own. But the terrifier is a two and a half hours of unbelievable carnage. Like I couldn't. Each kill was like. And it kept going and going and going. Like, for example, he grabs a girl, he slices her head, rips her scalp off. And then he slashes her in the back, grabs the thing of bleach, pours the bleach on her. Then he grabs the thing of salt, pours the salt on her, then starts rubbing it. On the head? On the back, just on the exposed side. And then he, like, chops the fingers off. Then he, like, breaks the leg and breaks the arm. Then he, like, rips the arm off. And it's like, it keeps going and going and going. And then the mom walks in and he's got, like, a thing. And he's, uh, she's, like, a mangled little stump. And he's still, like, poking at her it's crazy <laughs> i guess i gotta go see you it. gotta go see it it was see, like shocking. that's the type of movie i would be okay seeing at like a talkative movie theater because it seems like it's not really scary well we it was scary and it went to scary gross and then funny because we had to laugh had to laugh <laughs> also there was more queer representation in the terrifier part two than there was in bros yeah <laughs> that clown is so gay but you know what? And I don't need Sir Ian McKellen tweeting me that if I don't see it, I hate gay people. Or that if you don't see it, we're all going to the gas chamber. Girl. <laughs> Girl. Girl. Yeah, but Art the Clown is very, he's giving very like stand, um, like gay. He's just like, like after he slices <laughs> open some woman, he's like. He's so doing crazy. like antics. Yeah, the- <laughs> oh my God. He's doing like comedy, like silent. He's got bits. Yeah. Gay silent. He's, he's Rip Taylor. Bits. Yeah. Art the Clown, AKA Rip Taylor. Mm-hmm. You gotta see that my black leg, diarrhea. My leg is my leg is asleep. Wow, Jason. Oh, Jason. Jason socks. Now, who do you think would win in a fight, Jason or Michael? Well, I think at this point, Michael is like wood chipped. No, uh, Jason is like supernatural. Oh, okay, yeah. But Jason's really unkillable because I think it's kind of supernatural. Okay, Michael's not supernatural. I he's he's Bob sense. regular to me. Uh, yeah, he's kind of just like a really intense Bob regular. If anything, maybe he's a little bit like Splice. Mm. Not Splice. Split. Uh, split. Oh, okay. Splice Different. is a crazy movie. You seen that show? Yeah, they fucked that thing. They fucked the daughter. They mm. fucked the alien daughter. Mm-hmm. Well, hey. hunting's dangerous. <laughs> I got that Drop Dead Gorgeous DVD at Amoeba the other day. Yes. They gave me a $100 store gift certificate. And I said, if you just give me this DVD, I'll t- I'll, I'll give you the money back. Wow. They you got a DVD, DVD player around here? I have a PS4, which plays DVDs. So I'm wow. excited to watch it. Alabama. Um, 
A L A A L A B A M A. Girl, the accent. I told you I've been watching Intervention, mm-hmm. and it's it right Midwest. Well, they're in Canada this season, season twenty one, and a lot of it's giving. Well, it's kind of does sometimes. Winnipeg. It's almost like it, it's almost um, Irish, Canada. Oh yeah, I guess yeah. I live in Vancouver. Vancouver. It's kind of like that, but they have some Wisconsin area kind of sounds, and it's like they're doing their like little thing, and it's mm. sad, and yeah. I cry. Yeah, of yeah. course, I cry. Every episode, by the way. Okay. So if you think I watch the show as a joke, it's not a joke no. to me. And it's really hard because so many of them, they relapse. And it's, yeah, they But die. some of them, some of them, the show is like, and then they're like, they've been sober since it's filmed. Do they really? Yes, yes. Even when and the hoppers and stuff? Well, it depends on the drug. Yeah. When we're talking meth, when we're talking like fentanyl, mm. it's like they're they dead. enter a six month program, they're gone in two weeks. Yeah. And they don't hear from them since. Yeah. You know, but that's because the family actually sticks to the, the rock bottom, like, you know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. that's the thing I've learned. It's always, when somebody has no job and no income, it's like, there's a web of reasons why that person can continue to access a drug. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, if they have all that free time? The mom being like, I'll give you money as long as you don't promise to use it for drugs. You know right, what I mean? Right, right. It's like, Please don't go spend it on candy. Yeah. Or they're like, well, I don't like her using in the house, but I'd rather her be here instead of under a fucking bridge somewhere. I mean, it's like. I'd rather you do it in the house. I'd rather you do it in the no. house. Ugh. But they have the super Wisconsin accent, so I'm laughing because they're doing like the sorry. So, you know, and it's like, so Wait, you, it, ever, it. you have a letter to read and it's like, hey, <laughs> Scott, you were always my older brother. Ever since you were born, you were a light in the room, but that light has gone out. Oh no. <laughs> so the accent's like so strong. Oh, like, man. hey, we're gonna fight like hell to get chip at kiddo. <laughs> That's like <laughs> that would like... be the same thing with Boston. Like, it's really hard seeing <laughs> you like this, but we gotta, you know, George is just out there in the yard naked again and we just don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. They gotta do all the interventions in like central Ohio where there's no accent. Or no to get um, maximum They gotta do it back at where Mary Mary Town. They gotta get it bring it home. But just toss a lot of water on it. You know? Yeah, she's a my daughter. My daughter is home and she has she drinks only water now. No more alcohol. Good for her. Yeah. Wait, Amy Polar. Speaking of Bostonians and also something else, um, we met her. We did. She came to our show. This, yeah. Okay. What about this? I heard that she listens to the Bald and the Beautiful. Yeah. Which is really crazy. I think she hate listens to it. Oh, she's like, let's see yeah. what these yeah, fucking these fags F words, have to say. These stupid old, no. And she said, she said, we should work together. I said, work on what, Mary? Where? Well, At the Dunkin' Donuts? I, yeah, I shifted the orange Julius. Yeah, I was like, work on a meatloaf. Like, <laughs> work, work on a t- lovely drawing. Stuff. She's like, we should work together. I need my bathroom deep clean. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I want to get some tunnel group put in our, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, what the fuck? I was happy she came. You know, you know who else reserved a ticket? Bed Midler and she didn't come. She's um, on her Hocus she Pocus would, tour. She would not show up because that movie flopped and, um, she didn't want to show her face. No. Did you watch it yet? The thing I like about Hocus Pocus is that it's two times the fun. You know what? You can wait to watch it on November 1st because you don't want the Halloweenism to amp up the... Exp- you want to know what the real tea is I in know the cold the light is. of November. We love Amy Poehler. We love Amy Poehler. Five one, uh, 51 years old. I asked her right to her face how old she was. And um, she's beautiful skin, wonderful personality. I'm a big fan of hers. And we had a lovely interaction. Yeah, she said she's about to go on the road with Tina. And she was like, I'm trying to figure out... I was like, oh, she was trying to figure out what to do. Yeah. She's trying to get inspired. And I yeah, said, yeah, just yeah. put on some sparkly dresses. Yeah. Put I said, it doesn't even matter. Outfit. Put on a flashy outfit. Yeah. Yeah. You and her have a lot in common because you both go on the road with Tina. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tina. <laughs> ah! Yes, girl. I, I love Tina as well. I would love to see their show. I, I, I wonder think what they do. They're, um, I would imagine it has some, bears some kind of resemblance to what they did at the Golden Globes, which was dynamite show-stopping entertainment for 10 to 15 minutes if you ask me yeah yeah they have yeah it was really cool that she came and she brought some of her production people and Mm. there's a lot of there's a lot of orville peck was there yeah he's Um, always there he's always trying to steal the the drinks and and food Heidi in closet was there and she shaved her head Uh, she shaved her head at the show (laughs) no (laughs) she came bald and she was like i'm bald in solidarity okay i was like are I think it was a pitiful show, a uh, pitiful turnout from the girls, I'd say. The drag queens? Sisters, yeah. Was like oh, none of them come. None of them yeah. come. They're haters. all busy. All haters. They're all busy. Busy doing their scrapbook at home, wishing they were what? Trixie and Katya live. No. Um, none of them come. Priyanka don't. came. Priyanka came. But to Heidi. be fair, I don't invite anyone. I, yeah, I tell them not to come. I don't invite anyone. I don't call and say, like, my show's here. Yeah. 
can I get a ticket? Who's this? And just hang up. My real close friends either buy tickets or don't care about me. They're so sick of me that they don't want to see me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, if they didn't if they didn't procure a ticket, they're not interested. Yeah. Yeah. And then it's like a tertiary person I've worked with twice who's like, Can I get six tickets for free? Yeah. And I'm like, I like it no. when the stars do it though. Like when, real Hollywood stars. Can I get tickets? Absolutely. I'll snatch them away from a person who's not a star and give them to you. Yeah, I'm going to kick know? Beth and Susan <laughs> yeah. and their Trixie and Katya yeah. merch out of the front row. Kick them out. So yeah. that um, Soleil Moonfry and, uh, and um, uh, Dennis Quaid can sit in the front. <laughs> oh, wait. Doesn't he have a young um, nepotism son who's on? Isn't his son on the boys? Dennis Quaid? His, I wouldn't. He, yes. the Jack Quaid. Jack Quaid. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He, he's Huey and the boys. Okay. He does a good job. He's hilarious. Yeah. It's great. How many, um, I'm looking at the stack. Of I'm a little a... disoriented though, because in the book, Huey is from Scotland and has a super strong Scottish accent that's written into the character. Oh, like, follow me on Twitter. Yeah. yeah. And in the show, he obviously doesn't. He's just like, hi. But the show is totally different. They just take the idea of like, what if they were real? What if the government owned superheroes? And they're, all of it's different. Is Elizabeth Shue in the books? I mean, not her, obviously, no. but the character? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just all different. Okay. All different. Her. And it's like in the show, if it's uh, implied sexual assault, in the book, it's a graphic illustration oh God. of it's a 13 page like uh, fold out yeah. poster. Yeah. Or like mm. the violence is like, wow, she stabbed her. In the book, oh, they're ripping faces off. It's like, Terrifier too. Yeah. yeah so yeah, yeah. the violence is obviously greater. But um, well, they do really wonderful work in the show. It's very splashy and very like, um, it's great. Pulpy. It's yeah. really great. It's a great program. A I'm glad it's a hit work. because it's um, it's exciting to be into a show that I think will be on for a while. Yeah, like everything Cheers. Everything seems possible. Cheers was a good one. Mash. Cheers. Oh, okay. let's take a break. Let's take a break. Creating visual content is an essential part of what I do, but the creative process has not always been easy, Okay. For example, you know, for everything I do as an independent creator, I have to make a social post for it and maybe a video and figure out what the like the poster is going to be and the thumbnail and the font and oh my gosh. And, you know, I, I didn't have the pleasure of like, you know, learning some kind of Photoshop or I don't have any real graphic design skills. And ever since I found Canva, I can design anything like a professional on any device, even if I have no design experience. Canva Pro makes it easy to create stunning visual content in any format, from social media posts to videos, presentations, and websites. Without any design experience, I can whip up beautiful content in just a couple minutes with thousands of professionally designed templates. Canva Pro takes the time and the guesswork out of designing, all right? In a single click, I can remove backgrounds from an image or resize content for all my social media channels. Honestly, it's great for social media, but if you just want to have a really strong meme game, if you want something really fierce to drop in the group chat, like, you know, being able to like alter pictures of yourself and stuff like that is really nice. With Canva Pro, I can even create a one page website for my business in a matter of minutes with insight on traffic right down to the country and device used. I never thought it could be this easy to create compelling video until I started to use Canva Pro. I mean, just being able to drag and drop video stuff is so great. And you guys, for me, I record so much stuff on my phone. I don't always want to jump on my computer to do something. So having a really powerful little video project that I can produce from my pocket is so nice. Pretty much anything you see on my social media is produced on my phone. Design like a pro with Canva Pro. Right now you can get a free 45 day extended trial when you go to canva.me slash bald. That's C-A-N-V-A dot M-E slash bald for a free 45 day extended trial. Canva.me slash bald. Rocket money. I have to tell you guys something. This is a personal story. So when I started learning to DJ, I started learning on a fabulous app called Serato that a lot of DJs use. And then I got Serato, like the, the, the full version that was a monthly subscription fee. And that's what I learned on for probably the first like six, six, six weeks to like two months. And then I switched over to Rekordbox. But long story short, I never got rid of my Serato subscription. I kind of just forgot about it. And so when I got Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, it helped me figure out I had this subscription going monthly that needed to be canceled that I didn't even know about. Are you wasting money on subscriptions? 80% of people have subscriptions they don't even know about. And maybe for you, it's like Amazon Prime account or a Hulu account or, um, you know, anything that, I mean, 
anything. For me, for a while, I had a guitar tuning app that I had the ultimate like tiered version of it because I was using the app to tune my auto harp. I haven't traveled with my auto harp in over two years. So being aware of that, of like, wow, I don't need the full version of this app. I can go back down to the, the less version. It's pretty crazy and it's amazing. Okay, I gotta tell you, the app shows you all your subscriptions in one place. And so you can flip through and cancel what you don't want. Rocket Money can even find out subscriptions you didn't even know you were paying for, okay? You can even find out if you've been charged double for a subscription. To cancel a subscription, this is my favorite part, all you have to do is press cancel and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. Literally, it drafts a letter, please cancel my subscription and take care of it. It's pretty amazing. Cancel unnecessary subscriptions with Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash bald. Seriously, it could save you hundreds per year. That's rocketmoney.com slash bald. Hi, it's Trixie, and one of our sponsors today on the podcast is our friends at American Horror Story. Oh my God, FX's American Horror Story New York City, or AHS NYC, if you don't have time to say it all, is the next installment of the award-winning anthology series American Horror Story, created by Ryan Murphy and Brad Falchuk. You guys, I love American Horror Story. I've seen every season, probably, no joke, five times. There's a few of my, Freak Show and Coven are two of my favorites. I've seen them like truly 10 times, but I'm excited for AHS NYC. There's two all new episodes airing each week and it promises to be a season like no other. AHS NYC stars returning favorites like Zachary Quinto and Billy Lord, along with some fresh faces, including Russell Tovey and Charlie Carver. Something evil is coming, baby. FX's AHS NYC premieres 1019 on FX. Stream on Hulu. Did you know that I was on American Horror Story? Fun fact. <laughs> and then now I'm reading Preacher. Okay. And now what's that? Is that about preaching? It's about a preacher and a vampire trying to kill God. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah, it's fun. Why don't they pitch that in Hollywood? That Why? was the original Trixie and Katya live plot. Yeah. Or like bros. That sounds like a great bros plot. You know? I still haven't seen it. Let's not get into, let's not waddle into the discourse here. I got to see it. T.S. Madison, eight. Um, Simone from Drag Race, the winner's Drag Race, uh, effervescent cameo. Um, Bo and Yang, hysterical. Um, yeah. Joel gotta, Kim Booster. I don't know if he was in it, but he's just hot in general. I'm just a hater though, because um, if it's not horror, I'm probably not going to get up and go to the movie theater. You know, right. that's just yeah. really the only genre I show up for. And maybe that's my own trauma. So we're done the uh, second American leg of the tour, and now we're going to the UK and Europe. American leg. American leg is done. Now we go to UK. How yeah, it's gonna that? be. It's gonna be. Uh, can I tell you? No. Yeah, tell me. So I got Halloween gigs. Okay. Because last year my appendix came out, so this year yes. I have to make up all my Halloween gigs, which is fine. I love she Halloween. She's a man of her word. And if you see me at the Halloween gigs, and I'm, you know that I'm happy to be there. But know that if. I hadn't had these gigs to make up. I wouldn't have opted to do Halloween gigs in the three weeks between our tours. Okay. So that's tough. Yeah, that is tough. That is tough. Um, that's hard. And um, I go straight from the 31st Halloween in, in Boston. I go straight to New York to shoot for a couple days for something else. And then go to, then we start the tour and we don't come back till almost Christmas, bitch. Yeah, I know. This year's done. Uh huh. It's, it's years, really it's, over. It's we missed played all out. of it. We missed the years all of it. played out. Twenty twenty is played out. Um, but you know what? Oh, I'm gonna go see a musical concert. Um, and I've never really done that before. You're going to see Labada. Labada. Yeah. It looks like Loboda, but you say I La thought it was Laboda. Laboda. Yeah. It should be Laboda, but you know, they're weird. And um, but yeah, it's, I'm very excited. It's in a casino. I have a VIP table. Yeah. Trust is she famous here? Uh, I mean, she's famous in the Russian community, Russian-speaking world. And Who's going to see her here? Russians? A lot of Russian-speaking people in this country. Okay, really? Ukrainians, every, everybody, former Soviet people, a lot of people. So is Russian. she like the, is she the, um, mm. the, the, the Kylie Minogue of Russia? I would say she's more popular than that. Really? I think so. Um, Dula Peep? Are she's you old, lying? She's older than Dula Peep, though. She's my age. Um She's uh, pumped. She's lips half the face. Yeah. Lips half the face. Why don't she's you try a, to meet her? She's got a. Oh, are you kidding? I'm. I'm doing everything in my power to meet her. <laughs> like whether it's like from like SWAT team to like Pratt Falls and clown shows, I need to meet her just to snap a picture or something. You should apply to like security at that casino. Work mm -hmm. a few shifts. I'm fly yeah, under I'm, the radar. I'm going tomorrow. I need. I have a lot of groundwork to do. I, I want you to do everything that an assassin would do, but mm -hmm. when you actually get up to it, like, instead of assassination, like, it's like a nice compliment. Yeah. Hi, you look so beautiful. I love your last album. Can I have a picture? <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's great. 
She's awesome. She's, she Does she sings, know who you are? She does. And I don't know that she loves that. <laughs> <laughs> because our Ding Dong song outstreamed her Boom Boom song on Spotify. And she doesn't like that. I don't think she would love that. But I don't know if she does that. I don't want to put words in her mouth. But she does read or uh, see my Instagram stories. when You know when you tag somebody, it says, have you seen it? Uh-huh. She's seen it. And she reposted it once. Well, listen, not to be a... Whatever, but if the drag queens are paying attention to you at all, it means you're doing something right. Yeah. Sometimes Whether we're making fun of you or yeah. or worshiping right. at the altar. Yeah. I mean, I would have a hard time believing that she didn't have a sense of humor about showmanship because she's a drag queen. So But she's she sings like uh she cry like she cry sings. It's amazing. Like what? Like <laughs> like like she wails. It's really are you gonna emotional. Dance at the show? I'm gonna scream every word. I'm going to sing every word at a very loud volume, probably. Uh-huh. I don't know. Do you just like gonna, to dance? No. I'm just going to do like arms. Maybe probably just get really, really excited. We'll see. We'll see. She I'm could be very disappointing. I'm having a late in life dance renaissance where now I like to dance when I go places. If there's dancing, I want to go dance. Okay. Describe the scenario because I'm having a hard time figuring out okay, where let's you say go it's, dancing. I, I like to go to, let's say like hot dog Sunday at El Cid. Oh yeah. Like a nice gay dance party. And if it's like 5 PM yeah. and no one's out there dancing yet. Yeah. Oh bitch. You'll lay the groundwork. Yes. <laughs> it's like, I love, like we were at karaoke the other night. Mm -hmm. No one's singing. That's when I'm singing. Sure. I'm going to sing while no one wants to hear me anyway. Yeah. And then I'm just going to get out of the way and move on. Sing Cause like then no all night listening. I can go, somebody needs to sing. I sang. <laughs> Granted oh. half you weren't here and it was a B-52 song that was all speech mm -hmm. spoken. That doesn't but matter. Somebody sang. Yeah. Y'all are really, um, I don't know about uh, karaoke, but dancing is great. We had some crazy meet and greets on this tour. Yeah, we had some uh, insults hurled at us. We've had <laughs> some. Um, a lot of. We had one yesterday, two days ago. <sighs> what was that one? That girl said, You're prettier than she is before she got up and walked you know, away. I don't love it. You know, it's like. So <laughs> and also, she's obviously lying. It's like. <laughs> it's like, she's so. I know, but listen. Then we had somebody say. I'm very fragile. Oh, we told people about that. Yeah, we told him three, four times already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we had the, the, the Trixie, the fake Trixie. That was a pretty good one. That was great. Oh, and then we had the lovely woman who gave us $20. Love her. $20 bill. $20 bills. Well, there's that one. We had her in Vegas once. There's that one drag show goer who mm. always brings every Doctor? drag queen a crisp $100 bill. Oh, yes. She was in Phoenix, I believe. Last yeah. for my solo show. Uh, in an envelope. In Crisp, an envelope. Crispy bill. Crispy bill with mm. like your name on it, like a C Christmas note. card from your grandma. Yeah, fabulous. And then our friend, the doctor, who always gives us some kind of cash. I just hung up. Yeah, I just hung up the gorgeous framed um, cross section of a high-heeled foot, lower foot. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. She gave me a Dave & Buster's gift card. I think I'm going to go this afternoon. That's a great idea. I love to put in my AirPods mm, and then go blast, to Dave and Buster's. Blast house music. Yeah. And play Dave and Buster's. Play Dave and Buster's video games. Oh, I'm like pushing kids. I'm like, you're done. You, you Wait, it's the girls' kids there at the Dave and Buster's in Hollywood. Oh, I thought it was an adult arcade, but they serve liquor. They have kids there sometimes. I bet you can go with your parents. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I go. I was well. The first leg of the tour, I was on a big Dave and Buster's kick. There's this game called SpongeBob's Pineapple Arcade. And if you collect all seven of the character cards, you got the prize, which was 3,000 tickets. And I went to about five Dave & Buster's on tour, and I finally got all the cards and redeemed them. 3,000 tickets. What did you get? I got a necklace that says winner. Isn't that great? I just need some, like, Sometimes you just need to feel like I just need, like, why is everyone laughing? I worked so hard on that. That was like a serial killer's monologue. No, I that spent, was like a serial killer's monologue. I spent monologue. so much money like, trying to win too. There was three thousand tickets. I went all the locations. <laughs> Finally got it. Where'd you get? Winter necklace. It's so crazy. You know what? Uh, I have my stack of SpongeBob cards in there. I'm gonna go to the Hollywood one today, and I'm gonna win again. You should. You should throw it in the face of young. I love that. I love the zombie arm where you put the quarter, and the zombie arm just swipes and hits one of those pucks, and they say like twenty tickets, hundred oh. tickets, like. I gotta get into this game. Life. Oh, I also love this other one where um, pop, uh, it's called like pop lock, mm -hmm. where it's like a giant combination lock, and the things like, and you have to touch oh. it on the when you touch it on the light, it goes back the other way. I like oh, games fun, like that. changing directions. That's fun. It's fun. Do you I dance like, dance revolution? Uh, no. Is that old? That's old news. I don't really even get how to play it. I think it's just like a dance where they tell you to dance. More. It looks hard. It's super hard, and it's not fun. It looks hard. Uh, so not, just, I have my little rounds. I have my little like 
Ski ball? Places I like to go. Ski ball? Ski ball, yes. Ski ball? Basketball. Basketball? Any sort of... Um, duck hunt? Oh. Duck hunt? Clowns? Furry clowns? Oh, okay. Where they yeah. like... You know. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Love that. Whack them all. Um, there's this game where you have ping pong balls and you have to... It's like... um Beer pong? Beer pong. Yeah. Love that. Okay. Beer pong with no drinking. These are all like real analog, old school type of like... Yeah, I'm not going to like sit at like a slot machine and like push a button i want something physical oh I, want- I did that and let me tell you was it depressing kelly loves it yeah i mean i i guess it's a strange thing to love shoveling money into a furnace but that's what it is like i mean at least with the furnace you get the fire crackle yeah with the sl- slot machine it's just like why don't i just empty out my wallet into the trash emptying out my wallet into the trash but sometimes you know people mean? win nobody i know has ever won yes. but some people win Sometimes people win, and I guess that's why people keep doing it, but it's very, very strange to me. And you can't smoke. My that's mom and my whole... stepdad worked at the casino. Cause... Yeah. What do they do? Blackjack? Well, in Wisconsin, at least, they're only on the reservation. But okay. is that everywhere in America? They're only on the reservation? No, no. They have casinos everywhere. They do? Las Vegas, Atlantic City. Okay. Right? In Wisconsin, I think most of them are on reservations. That could be. And they have to be owned and operated by Native Americans, don't they? Yeah. That's like a reservation kind of like... Uh, reparations scheme. Yeah, I remember my stepdad was a security guard, and my mom, I think, was a, some kind of maybe a dealer or something. Ugh, that's dark and horrible. I'm sure it's just stupid and boring. Yeah, yeah, it's like working at the mall, what probably. Playing cards. It's you know who loves it. Straight guys. I think oh, straight cards? guys all yeah. have a dream of being like a professional card poker, player. poker champion. They want to wear sunglasses and have headphones in and like win a million cool. dollars. Yeah, it's like. Yeah, it's cool. Jennifer Tilly playing poker, that's cool. Yeah. yeah. Why don't you ask why don't you ask Sharon Stone in casino if she thinks that's cool? Yeah. Ask Ginger before she takes all those pills and kills herself. Does she die in that movie? I'm not sure. I don't think she does. I, I oh I used to love that scene where he's like showing her her closet for the first time and it's like a store. Mm. Yeah. Ginger. Which by the way, we're looking at stores right now for uh, something else. Storefronts. Mm-hmm. But I visit, I store I toured the storefront that right now is a clo- a clothing store. Mm-hmm. And it's all racks and shelves. And part of me was like, I wish I had my drag set up like somewhere no. that looked like a store. Oh yeah, I guess. So when I go get in drag, it's, yeah, it's like, like shopping, time to go shopping. Well, clueless, living the clueless. Thing. I mean, that's great though. Sharon Stone actually, Billy B was telling us a story about Sharon Stone. She has this dry clean conveyor. You know, the, at the dry cleaners, they have the conveyor belts that go all the way through. Uh huh. She has that in her closet. Yeah. Wow. Like for her outfits. And she, you know, puts her leg up on the thing and just presses the button and waits for the outfit to come. <laughs> Did you see that video I sent you of her talking about Indigo Dye? No. No. I heard you talking about it, though, and I don't believe it. it's true. You got to watch it. She's oh great. She fought. Listen, she's, she's, she's. <laughs> she is the moment. She is she's the moment. The and she gives us so many. This mm-hmm. is what it takes. Yeah. Yeah, folks. This is what it takes. This is what it takes. Mm-hmm. Oh, we're done. Um, Oh, my God. Speaking of Sharon Stone, it's time to go home. Bye. Bye. Bye.